You're in the vault, finally. After all this time. The Sierra Madre. Mine. Don't move. Don't go into the vault, and don't touch anything else. There may be more traps down there. Another security system. Still hiding behind images and screens, I see. Hiding? Hardly. Trapped. You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I did it. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your pit boy signal came to life in the villa. Then, then, uh, things changed. And here you are. How did you access my pip boy? You speak as if your fingers have never touched the keys of a Robco terminal. No machine is foolproof. They are designed to obey us. The pip boy operating system has vulnerabilities. Advantages to those who've studied its construction, even superficially. It's just a machine, though. Its real vulnerability is who wears it. And that's how you were caught. What do you mean? That thing on your wrist. It's a convenience. It tells you where to go, what to do. It dulls your brain. It may have helped you find the Sierra Madre broadcast, but it's just as much a crutch today as it was in the old world. Before this goes any further, I have questions. Curious? You must be. We have time now that you've done your work. And our interactions have been too one-sided, even for my tastes. What do you want from the Sierra Madre? What do I want? Weapons. Security. A citadel of my own. The Madre is all these things. It's a fortress. A weapon. A chance to begin again. Once I unlock its archives, I can carve the Mojave into any shape I choose. I don't understand how an old world casino helps you do any of that. The cloud is unique in my travels. Its proximity to the Sierra Madre isn't a coincidence. Right now it protects this casino, preserves it. It can be used to preserve other old world relics and cleanse them at the same time. And as much as I've researched hologram technology, the big empty facility was clear. Only the Sierra Madre got holograms working properly. Properly? Are you kidding me? The holograms here kill trespassers. That's what I want. Dump one of those emitters in the middle of any battle, there's no defense. It's like holding light in your hands. Can't fight it. Only watch it burn. Just one is a portable army. Arm it, anyone stands against you, dies. Have you secured that? That's all you want? No, there's one last thing I want from the Sierra Madre. It's bounty. The machines that fill its streets, its corridors. They provide, provide almost anything. Perhaps in the pre-war era, they were commonplace, things to dismiss. Now they are far more valuable. You know it. They helped keep you alive. I can't argue that. Sources of food, supplies, medical assistance, ammo, make more callers, even print currency. Make a nation. The cloud allows me to wipe the slate clean. Callers ensure cooperation. Holograms, defense. The vending machines provide 
everything else. The Sierra Madre can kill nations and build them using its technology with the right applications. You're nothing more than a killer that aspires to mass murder. You think I'm a murderer? If I was, I'd have set off your collar long ago. The collar ensures compliance, encourages cooperation. Think about it. Would you truly have gotten into the casino without those collars? No. Human nature is against us, always. Did you know that I had to keep adjusting the collars? Keep changing the rules to make this moment possible? What are you talking about? Every time, even with collars clutched at their necks, they would betray each other, kill each other to get inside the Sierra Madre. It... It was insanity. They could have had it all. It was so close. And... And they kept turning on each other. Again and again. Cracking the Sierra Madre was difficult, but cracking greed, that was more difficult. So the dead man switches went in. So you answered madness with madness. When your life is tied to another's sacrifice and cooperation, they can be conditioned, learned, and you can focus on the matter at hand. Greed can be beaten. Contained. Controlled. You know it better than anyone. Or I hope you do. It doesn't matter. How did you get me here again? Everyone asks that. Should be asking how they plan on leaving. It only takes putting a collar on one to begin the chain. One with a collar may chain another. And that one another had traps all over the wastes. The chain ends with a super mutant. Although with him, the collar wasn't even necessary. He only needed guidance. So someone else with a collar placed one on me? Who? The mutant. <laughs> he swallowed one of the collars. After that, he was mine. The collar wasn't even necessary. All his kind, they exist to be given orders. They're soldiers, simple, stupid. I asked him to fetch, and he did, even without the threat of death. Even when I stopped speaking to him, he continued to leave the villa, gather victims from the man traps out of habit. He must have found you in one of them. If so, he's probably forgotten. He only remembers my voice. He put the collar on you, dragged you here, because he doesn't know any better. It's in his nature, greedy and childlike. If Dog put a collar on me, why didn't he say so? Dog? Huh. Appropriate. It's what I called him. You've met him. You know why he forgot. His brain was ruined by FEV. His memory, wreckage. He may know the way back, somewhere, deep down. I doubt it. He tracks by smell and instinct. Still, he could be trained. Hmm. Do you know how to get out of here? Of course. I walked all this way. If you're worried, I'll give you a map back or show you the way out when this is all over. There's something else I wanted to know. Ask. You still have time. How did you find out about the Sierra Madre? It started with a setback. Fires, blood, beneath the sun, a sun so close you could touch it. Moments like that, however, failures, can provide the brightest clarity. What happened next? After that, I wandered alone, saw the storms of the divide, walked among the ciphers of the west, traveled to the big empty. 
I heard the signal. The woman's voice, the Sierra Madre, promising a chance to begin again, reverse my fortunes. All nonsense. I tracked the signal, came here, scouted the city, using other hands, kept dying on me, killing each other. You, you got the farthest of all. Where did you get the collars? The collars? They're pre-war tech. I suspect this great land had compliance issues before the war. It's one of a series of models. The one in your neck? Special. Easier to make adjustments. Unreliable in other ways, notably radio interference. They are pre-war tech. Where did you get them? A place far from here called the Big Empty. Almost didn't make it out. There were two others there. A woman. And a man. A courier. The woman was familiar. The other? I don't know what happened to them. I have never heard of this place you're talking about. Well, I actually have, but... Big Empty's a treasure box. A scientific graveyard of old world misery. Like the Sierra Madre, there's treasures there, sleeping. Some awake. The holo rifle, the Saturnite alloy, the hologram technology, hibernation chambers, securitrons, the callers. Even the suits attached to those things stalking the villa. That's only the surface of what's there. Right now, the Sierra Madre is what I want. There's something else I wanted to know. Ask. You still have time. So, now that I'm here, are you coming down? No. I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No. Not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. You? You're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time. More than you. Besides, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. I'll find a way to unlock the secrets of this vault. Take them for myself. You've gotten far. Any farther. Try to breach the vault. You become a corpse. What's inside is mine. Anyone else touches it, tries to take it from me, they'll answer for it. You'd have to find me first. Sierra Madre's basement's bigger than you'd expect. Hiding in the Sierra Madre. An interesting thought. I'd come to see it more as a prison. Hide. Flee. It doesn't matter. The Sierra Madre is patient. I can be as well. You won't get any farther inside. And you won't escape my sight. I've gotten past everything in the Sierra Madre has thrown at me. You're no different. I've had enough, enough of others stealing from me. I'm coming down. Forget the Sierra Madre security. I'll find you myself. Try to break into the vault, I'll set off the caller. <laughs> 